So here we are on my 4K Fire Stick Max. As you can see, I have the very latest update. Many thanks to Amazon for constantly pushing these updates to our device. But watch what happens now when I press a single button on my remote control, one click, and we are instantly taken into the Wolf Launcher. Now, I've been looking for a solution since Amazon blocked the ability to use Launcher Manager to launch our custom launcher. And I do think with the very latest Fire Stick update, this really is the best way. We can now once again use our custom launchers, no more adverts, no more sponsored content, really nice slick interface, custom wallpapers, widgets if your device supports it. And we can now get all of that functionality even with the latest Amazon update. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this new workaround working on all of your Amazon devices. I'll take you through the step-by-step -step instructions and so you can once again use any custom launcher that you like. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process on your Amazon device, head over to settings, Go over to MyFi TV, go to developer options and make sure ADB debugging is enabled as we will be making an ADB connection and sending a few commands. Now, essentially the way this process works is we are going to remap one of the extra media buttons on our remote control. For example, here we can see on my 4K Fire Stick Max, we have these four buttons at the bottom and you have the ability to remap two of them, which is Disney Plus, and also Netflix. Now, the reason why we can't remap Prime Video or Amazon Music is a key part of this process is, is to uninstall the application that these buttons correspond to. So as we can't uninstall Amazon Music or Prime Video, we can't use those. Now, in my example, I'm going to use Disney Plus as I don't use that on this device, and I can then use the Disney Plus button to launch any application I like. And in our example, we can use Wolf Launcher, but you're free to use any other launcher like the Leanback launcher, the Leanback on fire, or really any other launcher that you like. So once you've confirmed that you have got compatible remote control and you've decided which application you're going to remap, you need to go ahead and uninstall it. So in my example, as we can see, if I go over to applications, manage install applications, and here we can just confirm that Disney Plus is not installed. Now in your example, if you want to remap maybe your Netflix button, you need to go ahead and uninstall Netflix. And if you have one of the other buttons with the other remote controls, you need to uninstall the application first. Once you've done that, we're now going to open up Downloader and we can now make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to my site. Now, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can use this new method to remap any of your media buttons to launch any launcher that you like. And a massive shout out to AFTV News, Elias from that website. This whole process was documented by him, so all credit is due to him for this process. Let's open that up. Here we are, so this is the article here. Let's scroll down. We have the step-by-step -step instructions and underneath all of that, we should have a few links. Now, again, the full article is available on the AFTV News website, and you can get to that article by clicking on this link here. Now, in my example, as I want to remap Disney+, Plus, all I need to do is just type in this code here, 2214, and this will then download that special software onto my device. Now, you don't want to install it the normal way because we need to run a special ADB command to firstly copy that downloaded software to a different location and then the last command to actually install that software with a special switch. And the great thing is we can use the Fire TV app on your Android phones or your iPhones so we can just copy and paste those two commands so it really does make the process very easy. Now, if you want to remap another option like maybe the Hulu button or something else, which is not available for me in the UK. Again, if you click on this article here, you can scroll down 
and we can see there's many other remotes with lots of different buttons. So depending on your location, you may have different options. And if you need to download one of those different buttons, if you scroll down, we can see Elias has fortunately placed all of the links here. So for example, if you want to remap your Freeview Play, the code is 2230. If you want to remap uh, TV Now, the code is 2241. Now again, the code I'm going to use is 2214 because I want to remap the Disney Plus button. So let's go back to home and let's now type in 2214 and click on go. And this should then instantly download the remapper for Disney Plus. So let's give that a second. Now again, the key thing is here, you don't want to install this application, leave it as it is and just click on cancel. So we've now just effectively downloaded an application but not installed it. Now if we go back to my article, we can see underneath the remapper software, we have the commands that you need to run. And underneath all of that, you also have remote ADB shell. So this is how we're going to run those commands on our device. So install that as well. And if you haven't got it already installed, you can always download Wolf Launcher from here. And here is also the latest version of Lean Back on Fire, which is version 1.54. So install any custom launcher that you like. You can also install Launch on Boot, which I've covered before, and this will allow you to boot into any application. And in our example, we can set that to the Wolf Launcher. So when your device starts for the first time, it will go straight into the custom launcher. Okay, so now we've installed all those applications. Let's now open up Remote ADB Shell, and we can now copy and paste those two commands. Let's press the Home key. Let's now open up Remote ADB Shell. Make sure you're set to connect to localhost on port 5555 and click on connect. Now you'll see this for the very first time so you can click on always allow and click on okay. And we now need to type in those two commands which again, the first command just copies your downloaded file into a different location and the second command actually installs it. So of course, if you want to guys, you can always just uh, go to my website, look at the command and just click here and type it out manually. But as I like to make the process as easy as possible, I highly recommend you use the Fire TV application, which is available both for your Android devices and iPhones, and just use that to copy and paste. So I will just show that on the screen right now. So that's the first command there. I can just uh, press back for a second so you can see it. So we can see we're typing in CP, which is copy, move that downloaded file from the downloader folder or copy it from that folder into the temp location. Let's now click on run. Let's press back. Okay, we get no errors. That's now done. And for the second command, we have the installation here. So we can see that's the command there. So that's going to be PM install and you put a special switch. So your device thinks is actually the Amazon app store that's installed this. And again, we have the path to that copied file. So click on run, press back. Give that a second and we now see success. So that's the entire process, whether you're doing it for remapping Netflix or Hulu or any of the other options, they all have two commands. Now, once you've done that, let's now press that button that we remapped, which in my case was Disney Plus. So let me press that once. Now the very first time you press it, it does take a few seconds and it's now prompting you asking, which application do you want to launch now with this button? So. We can see you're free to choose any of your installed applications. But in my example, I keep scrolling down. So if you want to launch the K application, you can do that with this button. Or if you want to launch the Lean Back on Fire Launcher, we can do that. But in this example, I'm going to keep scrolling down, find the Wolf Launcher, press select. It says that the application is now saved. And if you ever want to change that to another application, it gives you the step-by-step -step instructions there. So let's press select again. Now, if I press the home key, so now anytime I want to use my custom launcher without pressing anything else, I just press the Disney button once, one click, and we are straight into that custom launcher. So it may seem like a slightly complicated process initially setting it up, but once you're done, you will now no longer see any more Amazon adverts. You can also use the launch on boot, which is on the same tutorial page. And that way your device will boot directly into the custom launcher. And if you ever need to exit out from an application, 
instead of pressing the home key, just press your remap button and you'll always stay inside your custom launcher. And just before you go, guys, if you don't have a VPN or you're not happy with your current VPN, Hypevanish are doing a crazy promotion just for the next two weeks, whereby you can get total protection for all of your devices, your phones, your tablets, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, all devices covered at maximum speed, unlimited bandwidth, with confirmed zero data logging at just over $3 a month. So really at that price point to get all of that protection, I think it's an absolute no brainer. So do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new process. Are you going to use it? Or are you in fact happy with the stock launcher? So do leave me a comment below. Let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.